Hey guys, Northern Crusader here once more with Victoria 2. Yes, I've been here in a while. Fucking, I think the last time I was on this was the old laptop. Which, god, that's a while ago now. But, I haven't actually played this in a while. I mean, like, you can tell... Well, you can't tell when the auto saves, damn it. I haven't actually done this in a while. Um, I think the last time I probably played this was... Before Christmas, and that's a while ago in itself. Jeez, it's summer already. But anyway, because we're in, it's summer, I feel like a bit relaxing. I feel like a bit of just messing around, conquering the world, that kind of thing. So, we're going to do a bit of Victoria 2. And I actually haven't got an idea of who I want to play. <laughs> Which, you know, great start. But with a world to choose from, I feel, let's, let's just mess around. So, this is Bayer Patch 3.04, uh, which is the um, the newer one that rebalances a few things. It's not a major change, not one that you, you have to opt into it. Um, but last time I actually started this up, I did the USA, I've done Prussia, I've done France. The USA was before the patch. So I feel a bit adventurous. I've done China as well. But let's see another bit of the world. Let's go to Nippon, shall we? So Japan! Japan is a very nice place. Like I love this as a start. And I hope you'll see why when we get going. It's actually kind of intriguing, really. Because these four islands have a lot that you can do with them. And you'll ho hopefully you'll see why. I really hope this mic isn't messing up, because this is... I got a new headset, and it's apparently a directional mic. I'm still getting used to the damn thing. Right, so... Welcome to the glorious island of Japan, islands of Japan. Yes, we have Kyushu, an army apparently. <laughs> Damn it! Can I? Thank you. Shigoku Shikoku, which is, I believe, this is Chugoku, This is Shigoku. Kansai, Chubu, Kanto, Chokoku, and Hokkaido. Japan is actually a very, in very interesting start because you're probably one of the Primitive powers is going to quickly become major powers, depending on how you do things. Let's go over the, what we've got. We are a primitive nation. That's, you know, meh. That's not a very good start. <laughs> um, we have to civilize before we can do much. And there is actually an option already, but regardless, we'll go over that. Again. Our production isn't that bad. We have basic supplies of a couple of things, but it's mostly, it is all from craftsmen, they can say anything else. So, we're going to need to fix that later on. Budget, we need to fix. So I'm just going to max everything out and then we'll rebalance it as we go along. But this will be easy to fix, especially because we're use our neighbour. Tech, we don't have any tech because we're unsafe, so we can't research anything. But politics, we are shogunates. We have a monarchy. We can choose our faction and we have the reforms that we have with China. We don't have any movements, but we have two decisions available to us already. The early Meiji Restoration and the Meiji Re Restoration. Um, to get one, you don't have to be. To do this one, you don't have to be in the sphere of influence, but it gets you tons of research points, gets you prestige, you get the Restoration, with Meiji Restoration, which is research points up. Um, economic reform, so it gives you land reform, but your conservatives and reactionaries gain militancy. This one's just the same thing about the militancy and the reform, apparently. Reform state of land reform. Oh! So you get that for free. That's not bad, actually. Because you get a free reform out of it, which is more research points. I'll see how things go. We might take this, we might not. I'll see what happens. But in Japan, the, the nation that's most likely to fear us is good old US of A. So you want to pay attention to the USA. You might be able to get good deal out of them, especially if they sphere you. They're the closest power to us, so that's going to be something to pay attention to. Otherwise, really that's pretty much it for reforms. Just got to go for all these and you can reform, which is nice, whatever. Population, we have 7.08 million. And rising apparently. Set over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 estates. Got one fifteen people. <laughs> okay, Micronesia. Um, but we have... It's not a bad place to start, really. There is a lot you can do with Japan. I mean, everything is close to the so you have a ton of population. But to start with, we're going to encourage clergy. 
Uh, we only have one cloak due to our nature, so we need to pay for trade. We're only have to bother with right now. To we'll see, we really want to be looking to the USA. We are probably the uh, the only primitive nation that's likely to become a major power very quickly. And military, we are very much stuck with irregulars and can. You can do a lot with these. Don't get me wrong, but it's not something to rely on. Uh, I'm actually going to start by disbanding his army. By the way, the Tokugawa is the Shogun. You got the Mori who is here. You got the Shimazu who is over here. I forget you, Yamanuchi. Datsa is up north. Made up Jim's here. Made up. Made up. Ah! Ah, Keiji! Okay, so Made is over here. Start so with make you Yamanuchi. Okay. So we're going to start with disbanding all the army. There is a reason. Uh, it's more because I, I just. I want to rebuild the army. <laughs> Simply enough. Uh, we'll start a rally point here, we'll move you up to Edo. We can't actually build naval bases, but we can build basic ships. And I want to build up a simple transport navy, probably some decent... Um, we'll start with small army to start with. Okay. And uh, Edo's a, yeah, Edo's a point. So we want to start with some... Let's go with this. So we've got space for 16 ships, we've got one. Um, one, two, not three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight with the other one, and then we'll some frigates. Uh, stops here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the plan is, hopefully, we're going to go and take on Korea. Now we're starting out the game. Normally events will happen, so we've got to keep an eye on that. But budget is not too bad, actually. Let's put tariffs. Oh, gold, gold rush. Sweet. This might be bad. It's the best go game for money. Probably skimping on the navy formation. That's not good at all. The purpose weren't so expensive. That might actually be useful. Uh, we're not taking any loans. I don't like tariffing because it doesn't really help your economy. It just it's short-term things. Like if you if you rely on tariffs, your economy is in hell. Like, I tend to like doing it like ten percent times around there, but as long as you get from you get from So what's going to be first our first target? I think we're looking at like Brunei, uh, Dainam, hopefully Korea. We're going to chip away at China eventually. The problem is we have to get westernized first, we have to get a decent army on them. And to get a decent army, we need to get everything built up. And I can actually lower tariffs again. Oh god. Let's vote. Uh, we probably do want to use our diplomacy on becoming friends with the USA. But we got, we're not going to get much, we're going to get what, 0 0.2 is it? 0 0.2 per month. So, every 10 months we get one diplomacy part. Woo! We're such a strong power! Hey! Are you allied with China? You are. Damn it! Ah! Are you? You are not. So I could go take Brunei, and then take Siam, and then chip away at this bit in the interior. And then when we get the eventual uh, muskets, because we're going to get muskets for China. When we get them, we'll actually be able to move up and go through Korea. Really, the first issue we've got is getting muskets. Like, once we've got firearms, that's it, we'll be fine. And wow, we're taking a while to get these clippers in. I really do need a factory, jeez. Either way, Brunei is... Oh, Christ. Okay, let's pull up naval spending, shall we? This is actually cutting away at our infrastructure. Um, infrastructure? Eh. Um, cutting away at our, um, just a lower education for a bit. Uh, economy, there we go. That's the last of the army. Thank you again. Uh, trade. How many clues are we actually looking for the most? I got just your goods. Let's go up to about uh, three. 
Okay, we're putting up the world price by quite a bit. So, you should be fixing up. Why aren't you fixing up? Why are you dying? But you're in harbour! Oh, newspaper. Alright, war between Argentina and Bolivia. Price rises, auction close. Uh, experimental railroad, US expanded. Great awakening, democracy in America. Sydney's relations! Don't Morocco. The fear of one should make The mood of one's wicked officials, one frightful apprehension when it comes to the actions of Russia. Being ever watchful of their actions, many fear their eventual. I'm sorry, the eventual war between both countries was only a cruel defeat. Yes, yeah, Prussia. So we might be more sure than we were. Oops! Uh, let's. I think there's going to be a lot of just micromanagement. Like, you're not expecting. No, it's a game, isn't really about conquest, it's all about just adapting to the age. Okay, um, the ship's still dying. We guys have a we guys have a So, what are we not spending on the We're not, that's a great start. Alright, um, what else could we do? We're not buying any clippers. It's a shame, really, because we do need the clippers. How far are we off getting an extra four? We need. 532 Yeah, we'll probably actually. Um, is there a way we can actually maybe get some allies? Um Maybe the Dutch. They will not accept. Let's look with the great powers, we'll see if we can make an ally out of you. No, we need to put places in here, so you can get it. France? No. Russia's the closest. No. Um, Portugal, probably that's not it. No. Probably because we need to look at unsafe, which I think is pretty really unsafe. Why not? There's many islands. Uh, China? No. Then again, China's you know, not the mandate of heaven. Uh, Burma? Alright, guess we're waiting. It's gonna be a very, very quiet start. I am tempted to do the um, decision to do Okay, that's not bad actually. Queen Victoria. On the 28th of June 1938, oh god, Princess Alexandrina Victoria of House Hanover ascended to the throne of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland as Queen Victoria. Her reign, which lasted even a few years into the 20th century, would later be remembered as the absolute zenith of the British Empire, upon which the sun never set. The last British monarch of the House of Hanover, her ascension also marked the end of the first union between Britain and Hanover. Today, a jubilant crowd in London has escorted the young Queen Victoria to her residence in the newly built Buckingham Palace. I think you'll find that um, Hanover only recognises male heirs. Which is kind of amusing. Modern colony, where the competition with colonies is constantly increasing as the European nations scramble for Africa and the world. France has done well for itself. One French colony has in the past few years become internationally recognised as a model of a well-managed European colony. And the attention that this colony has garnered for French colonial policy in parliaments and the courts of Europe is proving a wonderful boost. French research and a standard prestige. Which I think I see some of the problems here. But it's gonna take a while to have a The USA will. Um Prussia will probably just I 
feeling on this moment's first time. Uh, any now? We are making money. I mean, that's, that's saying we're not, but we are. Are we actually getting the people out? Oh. Sorry, that was a plastic <laughs> glass. Red uh, bottle glass? Plastic bottle. <sighs> Let's just. Give me all your votes. I think I should grow, to be fair, at this point, the votes relying on the clippers. That could be entertaining. Yeah. We got both clipper convoys. I don't know, I mean, that's one of the annoying things about this game. The start is very slow. You get frozen nation. You think I'll wait. I'm seeing this crazy Spain. <laughs> the US can still get lit. Oh. <laughs> well, um, that could be a laugh. <laughs> Why they will annex as soon as they get. We're up in the list. See straight. This could turn into a war if it keeps going. <laughs> That's how amazing it's already happened. Alright, uh, are you allied to China? Yes, you are. Are we allied in him? I don't think we can go on the seas for too long without some kind of money. Can we have military access? Yes, give us more reactionaries and liberals. Do it! Uh, can we get military access? Can't. Um. Should I go to 2%? You're above 2%. Yeah, let's go to 2%. Then. So I do this because it helps you literacy out. If there's like 2% of clergy, is, um, it's the best. Yeah, it's only the best. Uh, getting 2% of your clergy actually makes it so that you're, um, uh, you like, what's the word? Optimal? Um, so I just put 2% in it helps your education out as well. Like, they will slowly become more and more literate. If you look at literacy right now, this is going up by 2.31 of volts. That is big. That is big. The only thing is, I want to find a way to exploit all this. Life without parole. And then we have this little fellow. Started out with the proverbial pine and needles and plenty soon he was on the road banks. Then we spend the rest of his life here. So we keep him in chains most of the time. I suspect it'll drive him insane in a few years if it hasn't already. Imprisonment for life for the possibility of parole is not a common punishment in Japan. However, in certain liberal circles there have been arguments on the nature of crimes and punishment lately. The option being advanced that a human being in chains is incapable of being swayed to the early angels who is better than nature, while kept under miserable conditions. There is a growing movement of liberalisation of prison laws. So I do all want less militancy, less prestige, or... Yeah. Such old ways. In Japan, we are primitive. We are Susamurai. Yeah, I was probably a step too far. <laughs> okay, because people against Burma, we don't need the frigates. So I can probably cancel the frigates for now. Let's get some measure of sanity going here. Because as soon as we get these fleets fixed up, we are going to move out. I mean, I need, what, eight ships? Take all those ships? I do, actually. Got five, no three amount. Yeah. So it's not because of this. Let's move you guys back up. So this is the... Up, made to, it made sense in my head. <laughs> so once we get a few more clippers, we should be good. Yeah, still getting damaged. Like. I don't know why they're still getting damaged. Like, what's? Do we have nail base anywhere? No. So why are we taking damage? 
Hey, we haven't got a naval base, we shouldn't be struggling with this. Where's Tagashima? Oh, there's Tagashima. What? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I think it's this one. If you've only on about Tagashima, it's um, it's the place where the um, the first muskets were brought to Japan. That's how they, that's how they got the name Tagashima, because they came from the island. The Nanbar trade, as it were. Uh, let's make some more friends with Americans. Who are... Probably on the edge of war, unless they win that. Have they got Mexico? I have Texas. Yes, they do, actually. Wow. That helps. And go to war. No, I'm not sure. Let's go. Why not? I don't know why these aren't fixed to go. Yeah, I'm going to this one. Oh, reform! Okay. Uh, foreign training efforts would be good. Uh, land organization and research points. That's not bad. Uh, I might leave a bit and go for, like, naval. Um, on the board ships. Because they're exactly what events. I might go for army in the... Where's my army? My boomstick! Yeah, that actually good. Land unit defense up. This is... Organization. I think I prefer this because you get the flintlocks and you start you get the line infantry. So I'll leave that for now. But we need how much? Six thousand seven hundred. So not that far away. And we could reform our army. It's not that bad to be fair. There's no loot. Military parade, our nation may be broken, but our army is not. In their eyes as they parade through the streets. Oh, sorry. As they parade through the streets, can be seen nothing but utmost devotion to Japan and the ideals for which our nation stand. These men and the description fits them have been have been fostered since childhood into rigid and firm beliefs in our nation, and they would die to defend it. Long live Japan! Majesty and justice, or much glory? Ah, uh, I'll go with much glory. Lindsay isn't hurting us right now. It takes time quick enough anyway. And uh, we got a, we got a good deal of prestige out there, basically for free. So once these ships are done, we are hopefully gonna have these guys fixed up. Some have got some supply. No, nope, but actually have organization. Right, when we get the last clipper, we'll let these guys fix up and then we'll see about expanding somewhere. I need to pay attention to the political scene. <laughs> Keep doing this because now they should be paying attention to us. Um, I need to make friends with someone else. I think making friends with Russia is a key point as well. Otherwise, yeah, well, just wait for these ships to get fixed up. They shouldn't be that bad now. That's fine. 0 0.25 a day. Price going up to pay for supplies. And we are losing money now, great. We haven't given any loans. So we can't afford to lower education. It's bad enough as it is. Alright, you guys getting fixed. No, I'm only getting even worse. What is going on with this? Conquest, it costs me 22, it takes 200 days. I'll take that. And we 
we're probably going to have to go with damaged ships. They shouldn't have a navy. I don't know why we're not getting fixed up, but... Because we should be buying in the Clippers unless they're just that damn rare. We got the tech tech, I got 17, really. Oh god, that hurts. We're nine minutes, really? Now you give it to me. The Russians are making 11, the British are making 10 ish. Yeah, it's. It's almost a gross one right there. Oh, it's the Roman. It's always suffering because they haven't made a dedicated factory. Well, when we start getting factories, we'll. Ah, hello, there we go. Um, so, farm weapons went for them. Start over again. And can we start getting off with the We can now. Some and when we can get men, we'll what we need. Yes, we will. There we go, flintlock armament. Beginning of the 17th century, the flintlock rapidly replaced earlier firearm ignition technologies such as the oak lock, match lock, and wheel lock mechanisms. It continued to be common for over two centuries, replaced by percussion cap and later cartridge based systems in the, in the early to mid 19th century. Although long superseded by modern firearms, the flintlock weapons enjoy continuing popularity with black powder suit enthusiasts. Black, uh, the musket is probably the, what the greatest thing you've ever made, to be fair, in terms of weaponry. Just being able to make firearms that you can actually use that simply. Well, flintlock rather, not the. Uh, we'll just spend you guys. Okay, we got the CV. But the army's not ready. <laughs> well, to be fair, we need, like, what, four? And then we get two on the flank? So we could go... quite early, actually. When does the CV die? The CV dies... 5th of August. Of next year. We've got time. We've got plenty of time. Besides, we're going to get Wow, this is going to be annoying, so... We're all training up, and we're done in this, in this, um, tube. Let's move on to the Canton Plains. Uh, the is 1.2, okay, fine. Should be good. I could go with this. Actually, I think I might. Yeah, that's not far away. There's a Russian Navy. Have I got over? I've got 30, but hey, okay, we need to cut it off. I'd rather not go over the hill right now. Okay. <laughs> I've, uh, this makes it on the whole Navy dies. Oh, God. Uh, they have Nova ships, so yeah, we'll both go for it. I pray that I don't need my entire navy. I will. So we should be good, really. There's Spanish. We are probably going to need to cut the beat the Spanish out of here. Yeah, okay. Oh, sure. Okay. Right, let's get you guys in the now. You are taking damage of the next And your CG is there. Let's actually, we can actually afford to split this in half because we haven't got enough to hold on. So I had to be doing it. Uh, this is. I'm oh, sorry, we two more. This won't take two more. So sure. That's why I like it. 24. Yeah, we can, we can do it easy. So we're going to expand our empire, we're going to go we're going to get some more research points out of this. Keep doing that. So who's going We should also draw the eyes of the world. Ah, it's not useful, okay. People wonder why I like this game. It's like, I love the tunes, I'm sorry. It's a very beautiful. But, 
on note of this war, I have to call that a part there. Next time on Let's Play Victoria 2 as Japanese. Um, we're going to carry on this war. Going to take Brunei. I don't think we're going to get much further until we let him take down. And if we won't take down quickly, at any rate. Uh, but we're starting things off. Let's get that out there. I've been the Northern Crusader. Think. See you next time for more in Japan. Victoria 2. I hope you enjoyed this, folks, and I'll see you next time.